Hello, and welcome to dungeon level 4. The boss of level 4, I just looked it up, is the evil Mane Mane statue, statue, which is one of the hardest fights in Earthbound, but typically at the time that you fight it you only have two party members, so hopefully having a full contingent of fighters on my side will uh, even the odds a little bit. This is a hotel. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for it. I only have a hundred dollars. Oh, question mark is still stunned. Or paralyzed. I think I can take care of that. Can't heal beta. Your paralysis. No, I guess not. Okay, well, I could stay in the hotel if this was actually an ATM. Oh, this is a, this is the restaurant in Summers. That's the bus driver's head. Not not usually, no. No, I'm good. Do you sell anything of note? Old bracelet. Well outside my range of range of affordability. I turn the audio down. So the music isn't so overpowering. Unfortunately, that means you won't be able to hear the sound effects as well. I have a pretty good bit of money in the bank, but it won't be accessible until I can locate an ATM. Alright, let's call Ness's mom. Uh, actually, things are going relatively well. Thanks for the info. Alright. Dungeon level 4. What challenges await me? So this is Summers. The town of Summers. I'm seeing a lot of sleeping Marios. I don't have any mummy bandages. Magic. I, th I think I can use a little bit. Don't enter. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a zombie, a mole, Mario, and a question mark. We go, we go where we please. More magic. Pizza. I don't have a pizza. So you can order pizza in this game, but not until you talk to the proprietor of the first pizza restaurant and get the number, because they don't sell pizza directly. You can only order it. Can I get the book here? The Overcoming Shyness book? Thank you. They don't seem bothered. No. I forget how you actually obtain that book. Something that happens fairly late game. Is this the way I came? Yeah. Did I find out where, where the ATM door actually goes? Right, the restaurant. Okay. I, I'm, I'm getting my bearings.
museum leads to another part of the vol volcano. So this is a, I think it's a, it's, it's a full heal and a full revive. So this guy comes, and normally this is the part of the, the game where you would lose question mark from your party temporarily, because uh, the Zen Master has to take question mark on, on a journey of discovery to, to unlock his best spell. Starstorm. Depends on question marks efforts. Uh, but in the randomizer, question mark doesn't actually leave your party. And you can use that spot over and over again to, to heal yourself. So the way you actually obtain Starstorm is you find it in a present. Or you know, a treasure chest or a casket or whatever. Chompy's Ghost. Alright, I fought Chaotic chaotic Formids before. I, I don't think they're too bad. But let's Fire Beta them just in case. And use a Freeze Alpha on Chompy's Ghost. Because I don't want to get chomped. Okay, all, all it did was edge closer. That's good. Right, the battle music is going to be a lot quieter because... I, I have it balanced for the for the overpowering uh, dungeon music. That's not ideal, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Nice offense boost, Ness. Nice defense boost, Ness. That was a good level. That was a pretty good level for Monty. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is actually possible to like normalize the audio levels of, of different tracks. I have no idea how SNES audio works. Hmm. I think this guy sells stuff. Oh, you do, do you? What a surprise. Tiny coin. One of the best defensive items. I would like to have this crusher beam. Mario is in dire need of a weapon upgrade. Already have the french fry pan. So, so normally this is right before you get to Saturn Valley. You can't explain save states to Ness's dad. As far as the game is con concerned, I've been playing non-stop for like five hours now. Oh, that that's a lot of monsters. Can I maybe fight fewer monsters there? That would be nice. Okay. Pupper and not a fobby. Pretty dead dog. Alright. Uh, does freeze work on you, pupper? Dead pupper. It does. Good deal. So I need to, to locate an ATM and then go back to that guy and, and buy that weapon for Mario. Are Fobby's afraid of me? No. We were just more interested in the tree for a moment. Yeah, they don't always attack in in huge swarms. But when they do swarm, there's more of them than than any other swarm of enemies. Ooh, crystal charm. That's going to Mario. Or Ness. Oh, 
Is it not that much of a boost? So the travel charm gives you re resistance to being paralyzed. Let's see what the actual effects of the crystal charm are. Paralysis and speed. Huh. Well, if it's not that that much of a defense boost, maybe I should give it to Monty. Or even question mark. Potentially. Yeah, it's only two points of defense. But it's paralysis, resistance, and speed. I think I would prefer if Monty gets the speed. Because I want my spellcaster to... Have a, have a better chance of going first. So yeah, don't worry Mario. We'll, we'll find you the charm that's right for you. Alright. Couple points of defense. So I think this is a dead end in the randomizer. Oh, treasure. Another one. Uh, yeah, I don't think Mario really needs the speed that much. So, I will give that to Ness, and then Mario can inherit the travel charm for the paralysis resistance. So everyone has a full set of equipment now, that's nice. Oh, it's not a dead end. I think I think it's a dead end if I go further up. Oh, cold remedy. That is an over enthusiastic reaction for a cold remedy. Bye. Vital capsule. Ooh. That permanently increases someone's vit vitality. Who needs that? I think Mario needs it. Yeah, Mario or Ness. But I'm, I'm leaning Mario. Yeah, one point. Probably not, not that big a deal. Hi, Frank. Frank must be visiting his his hoodlum friends. Or is it hoodlum? Well, that's a better weapon for Mario. I don't know if it's as good as the one that guy was selling, but let's check it out. Eh. Four points. Whatevs. Hmm. Yeah, I think the the Fobby or the Blobby is the only enemy that can attack in, in a group of six like that. Um Thunder. Kind of sucks that these things all go first. Wow, the second one missed? I didn't know it could miss when there were six enemies on screen. That's quite unfortunate. Now ah, just defend. Because if these things decided to gang up on question mark, they could destroy them in a, in a turn.
But yeah, question mark. Just took 25 there instead of 50-ish because I defended. Hello. Oh, this guy is a pencil-shaped iron statue. Still have not located a pencil eraser. Oh, there's treasure across there too. What are you? Oh, just a regular mole. No, I'm okay. Oh, if I if I was mushroomized, I could talk to that person, and, and they they would demushroomize me. I haven't seen any of the nastier status effects yet, which is good. I've only been ghostified once, and ghost of being being ghostified, or or haunted, as most people would say, uh, isn't that bad. Not as bad as being diamondized. So I can't get through here because I do not know the password. And I don't remember who tells you the password. I remember something about the password just being like standing still, just not saying anything for a certain amount of time. I might be making that up, or that might be something from a different game. <laughs> Maybe someone has to tell me to stand still and wait? I don't know, but that, that would be a shortcut if I was able to get through there, so not something I, I need to worry about. Scorched Snake. Well, a Scorched Snake needs to be cooled off. Yes. Yes, it did. Brain Shock A. Brain Shock is one of those spells I, I don't use too much. It can have sort of unpredictable effects. And it doesn't seem to work on, on a lot of enemies. Okay, well, that was a big, long nothing. Yes, the plus side of, of having the volume turned down is that the super jarring uh, <clears throat> transition sound effects aren't that bad. This fight could be bad. Three of these UFOs would... Uh, Potentially do some damage. Yeah, fire. Not not that effective. These things are pretty magic resistant in general, it seems. Crud. Ouch. Yeah, remind me to heal my Mario. Pretty crappy level for Ness. Alright Mario, have a hamburger. Famously, your favorite food. I'm dying for a good old New York hamburger. Alright. That is a lot of enemies. You know what? Let, let, let's get a full heal. Why not? Get everyone's magic points back. 
I mean, one reason why not is that you have to sit through this whole dialogue every time, but it's not a huge deal. I'm hoping not to have to go through the desert because it's huge and you can get sunstroke while you're, while you're wandering around. I'm probably going to have to go through the desert. No! Abstract art! Run! Hmm. Well, I, I like this better than the desert. This is the Saturn Valley music. You probably can't hear it super well. It's good music, though. Oh, Defense Down by Magna Omega. Neither is a spell that I use that much, but it's good to have just in case. Is there an ATM in this part of the dungeon? No, no flash photography. Inside Dungeon Man. Ah, uh, fine, I'll fight these things. Rusty Rope. Gotta say, a monster that's... A sentient noose. It's pretty gruesome. Hey, my pee pee. Oh, they don't care about freeze at all. Ouch. Oh, I'm not liking this A button situation one bit. I might have to locate some sort of USB hub so I can plug in my, my other controller. I, li I like this controller. I'm, I'm using an 8-bit Doe M30, which is the one that's patterned after the uh, Sega Saturn controller, and it's, it's quite nice. It, it's connected via Bluetooth at the moment, which is why I don't need a USB port for it. Um, yeah, the, this button sticking issue is is a new development. Not a fan of that. Like it's my favorite controller to hold. Like the size and and the weight of it are perfect, and I like the D-pad a lot. Trompy's ghost. I should have healed Ness. <clears throat> um, I'll heal Ness with question mark. I will freeze the Trompy's ghost, which I, I I think I remember that being effective. Nope. Nope. Recover. Recovery magic is where heal heal lives. Oh, nice. Question mark went first. Good deal. Ouch. Everyone's ganging up on... on Ness. Alright, let's get Ness some... some more life up. And let's... Heal Mario's cold. It'll probably wear off on its own before too long, but... I'm not hurting for magic points at the moment. That's a treasure chest. Is this a real enemy? It is. That's okay. Oh! Nice. I wasn't expecting to get the advantage there. Boy, air gun. That's Mario's crappy old gun. I don't care about that. Treasure. Ah, backstage pass. I mentioned that, uh... Well, no, I mentioned the concert ticket. 
uh, the backstage pass is a similar key item for opening up a similar shortcut. All right, give that to question mark. Hang on to the, the toy air gun for selling purposes. I think there might be an ATM in the southwest corner. No, I'm thinking of a different part of Dungeon Man. Right now I'm inside a man who, through, through the power of science, has been turned into a dungeon. So the duck is afraid of me, but not the noose. Oh my god. Do these enemies appear together be because of... Because they, they appear together in standard Earthbound as well. Is it a pun? Duck duck noose? That just occurred to me. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, that that's kind of incredible. Yeah, I, I was always wondering, like, why why do these enemies always appear together? I think I think it's because Duck Duck Noose, Rock Candy. Rock Candy permanently increases a random stat. So, I think I'm just going to give that to Ness. Or should I give it to Question Mark? Question Mark might not like it, because they're from Delam, and people from Delam don't like Western food. Um, so I don't want to waste it. I'm just, I'm just going to give it to Ness. Guts one up by one. That's good. I want Ness to have a higher gut stat because I, I, th I think if I, if I do want to use the Casey bat, I think a higher guts makes it more effective. This is the preschool, I think. Yeah, because this this camel wants to be just like Monty. So these are like preschool children. Who, who Monty helps out because her mother works at the preschool. And, and Monty's very popular. Okay, we have a hospital here. That's good. You have to, you have to pay to get in here. Five dollars a person? No. I can't afford to spend twenty dollars. I mean, I do, but I want to hang on to it until, oh, uh, run. <laughs> I, I want to hang on to it until I can find an ATM. Okay, I'll, I'll fight a blobby. That's an acceptable fight. things drop luck capsules? I'm not enough of an earthbound expert to know what luck does in this game. I, th I think the standard... Uh... Oh, actually, I might, I might know. Because, like, the normal assumption is that luck affects your critical hit rate. But in earthbound, I think that's affected by, by your gut stat as well. I think a high luck... Makes makes you less likely to get status effects, like like being poisoned and stuff. Uh, I th I think I remember looking that up at some point. I'm going to give it to question mark. I I think question mark won't mind a capsule. Let's find out. Okay. Oh. Well. Still don't have the pencil eraser. Yeah, there are quite a few uh, pencil statues that you need the pencil eraser to to erase. All right, I'll pay the twenty bucks. Monty doesn't get in free. 
There's no like mole discount. Or a question mark. Oh, is this is this an arms dealer? No. Never mind. This might be a boss area. No. I don't think so. UFO Deluxe. Ooh la la. Um... Bye. And... Defend until we know what it does. It does a lot of damage. Oh. Vulnerable to brain shock. And mirror. Protein drink. I think all that does is restore health. I'm not sure. Um, let's try to brain shock it and see what happens. Oh no. Oh, thank god. I, I killed it before Mario's hit points could tick down. That was a tough enemy to just sort of randomly encounter like that. Okay, well, rest in peace, Monty. Uh, that, that'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.